Third time like you, Lawrence. Here we are again. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in ages, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> so the Guardian Gravity Purifier. Now, we just ran through the platypus quick draw a minute ago that I mistakenly called a purifier, but it's actually a filter. Now, what you have is a purifier. So do you want to tell us again about what that entails and what the Guardian Galaxy, Guardian Galaxy, the Guardian Gravity, it's too late in the day for this. There's too many Gs. I can completely understand your uh, confusion there, yes. So a, pu a purifier will remove viruses in addition, to a in addition to bacteria. So a filter, which we refer to, which is, you know, we've got any number array of filters, but, you know, the ones that are familiar to people at uh, UKC, likes the Miniworks, which has been around for 20 plus years, is a filter. It won't remove viruses. So a virus filter has to have a filter that has holes a factor of you know, 10 times smaller um, to remove that. And historically, that's been very, well, it's a very, very hard thing to do with engineering is to have holes that small and be able to force water through them and get any form of flow rate. Now, the way we've got around it is using hollow fiber filters where you can have a very, very large surface area with very small holes. So with a Guardian filter, you've got approximately you know, 20 square centimeters about that of area in which to force water through these very small holes. And that's why the filter rate has been so good. I mean, the original, well, the Guardian filter purifier that's been around for a few years now is a pump system and that'll filter at two and a half liters per minute. So that is rapid and that gives you all the protection you possibly need and it's self-cleaning and it'll purify you know, 10,000 liters of water, which is 10 cubic liters of water. And I'm assuming that by the difference, and just to get the name right, it's not the Guardians of the Galaxy, it's it's the Guardian Gravity Purifier. This will work by, I'm assuming, placing your water in the top and letting it all... Exactly. You've got a 10-litre bag of water. So you scoop your dirty water up in a, in a bag like this, and ideally you hang it from a tree or higher ground. But provided you've got height on your side, you can just lay it on the ground if you really need to. The system does flow a little bit slower, and that's for two reasons. This, this is just under half a litre a minute this, this purifies at. And that's because it's a gravity system. You're not pumping water through it, so there's not as much pressure, but it's lazy. Um, but it also has a carbon element to this filter as well. And the carbon removes taste. So that, that is, a you know depending on what water you're doing, all of these filters purifiers will remove um, you know, the bacteria, the purifier will remove viruses, but none of them will remove coloration. So if you've got PT water, it's still going to look PT. If it's tannins, it's still going to look tannins. Um, but this will remove taste and also help with the remover of some chemicals as well. Um, <clears throat> so this one, water flows down through here. I mean, you can, you're not be able to see on the screen, but you've got an array of hollow fibers in there. And then you've got a bottle attachment. So this will attach onto all sorts of different bottle sizes and shapes. You've got a clean side cover on here, which is covering this at present. Let's remove that and that'll go on to standard Nalgene bottles, MSR, drum light, drum dream, reservoirs and things like that as well. So I guess this is that perfect one for when you've set up camp and it's just, or you're stopping off next to a river for a spot of lunch. You can basically be, as you say, quite lazy with this really and letting it, you know, popping it down or hooking it up in a tree and letting it do its business whilst you're eating, drinking, sleeping. Yeah, I mean, the idea of these are, these are really for group usage, you know, for, yes, if you were, if you were going cycle touring and you're having to filter, you know, eight litres of water a day, you definitely consider something like this if you're going for a long period of time over pumping or passing it through. I mean, if you were trying to do it through a, you know, one of our smaller filters, you know, you spend a very, very long time filtering or purifying water. Um, so this is ease of use and it is, you know, you know, sometimes the prices are slightly eye-watering for people, but it is, you know, if there's a group of eight of you on a river rafting trip, you know, that type of trip, then actually if you start dividing out the costs, they become very affordable. Because there is a premium yeah. for the because there is a premium for the purification element as opposed to the filtering side. There is. I mean, there is there is a cost. I mean, you're looking at a factor three times higher usually for for that additional protection for virus you know, from viruses. 
Brilliant. Is there anything else, Lawrence? I've realised I've, I've exhausted my list of questioning now, but it seems like we've covered everything in terms of who it's for, what it does, and its point of difference in between this and, say, the other filters and the other purifiers within the range. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say that you know, between MSR and Platypus, you know, which are both owned by the same, I think, Cascade Designs engineering company, we have something that will suit virtually everybody. They're from you know the pumped filter to the hand filter to i mean something will actually even connect into you know a uk garden tap so some people laugh at this but you know this is a product which you you know you know come lady bar reservoir you know being overflown by such and such and you know your local water company getting in touch to say you can no longer drink your water for the next few weeks until we sort the problem out you can attach this onto your garden tap or you know thing and out comes clean water you know, there are some very neat pieces of engineering that we've got, you know, at our disposal. So, yeah. Hey, well, thanks ever so much for taking us through both of those. I've certainly learned a lot more uh, about uh, both purifiers and filters than when we spoke, started speaking about 10, 15 minutes ago. Well, good. No, thanks very much for your time. I hope you're better informed for it, Rob. Cheers. Thanks, Lawrence. Cheers. Bye for now.